Good morning, this is your morning mobility routine. This should take between 15 and 20 minutes or so. If you have more time in the morning, you can run through this twice or hold the stretches for a little bit longer. But I can guarantee you this is gonna be the best 15 to 20 minutes that you spend out of your whole day as far as feeling good, being mobile, and staying injury free. So we're gonna start out kneeling, sitting your butt back on your heels. We're gonna go with neck rolls to loosen up the neck and the traps. Slowly roll your head around. Nice big circles. Five times in each direction. And switch. You want to make sure you're getting a nice stretch all along the side of the neck and the traps. Uh, next, we're going to do the next stretch. So the stretches we're going to hold for 30 seconds. So I'm using my phone timer. I suggest you do the same, or you can just follow along with this video and do it for the same amount of time I do. So you're going to put your hand on your head, gently pull your ear down to the opposite shoulder. You can take your other hand and reach down to get a deeper stretch in the traps. Nice, slow, deep breaths. Getting all that tension out of your neck to start the day. And switch sides, reset your timer. Gently pull your right ear down, reaching the left hand down the side of your body. Get a nice, good stretch all up the side of the neck and in your traps. Again, you want to stay nice, slow, deep breaths. Got about five seconds left. And time. Next, we're going to do the shoulder stretch. So that one, you're going to clasp your hands behind your back. Push your chest up. If you're more flexible than I am, you can bring your hands further up that way to get a better stretch in the shoulder. If you're not quite as flexible, you can grab onto a towel and bring your hands out that way. But you want to push your chest up, roll those shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, get a nice stretch in the front of the chest. Next, we're going to go into what's called the child's pose. You're going to go knees wide, Sit your hips back to your heels. Again, 30 seconds on this one. Walk your hands out. Push your chest down towards the floor, getting a nice stretch in your lats and also in the low back. Nice, slow, deep breaths. Every exhale, you want to kind of sink a little bit deeper into that stretch. And now we're gonna work the lats. We're gonna stay in the same position, but we're gonna walk the hands all the way over to one side. Turn your ear over, try to put that ear down towards the floor, getting a real nice stretch all up and through the lats. You wanna to try to expand the left side of your body as much as you can while kind of crunching the right obliques. Nice, good stretch. Slowly walk it on over to the other side. Nice, slow, deep breathing. You want to keep your butt as close to your heels as you can. Getting a nice, long stretch in the lap. Five seconds. And time. Okay, next, I'm gonna warm up the hips and the wrists. Go into all fours, knees a little bit wider than your hips. And you're gonna slowly make big circles with your body, coming up over your hands, circling the wrists. Should feel a real nice stretch on the side of your hip. We're going five in each direction. If you find a spot that feels a little bit tight, you can kind of sit there a little bit, 
get a little bit more of a stretch and take it back the other way. Three, two more. Four, warm those wrists up. And five. All right, next we're going into the cat cow. Same position, hands and knees. You wanna drop your belly, look up on the inhale, exhale. Arch your back as high as you can, push through the palms, open those shoulder blades up. Inhale, drop your belly, arch your butt up. Exhale. Two. Around that spine, pull the belly button in. Three. Four. Five more. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Next, we're gonna go to a lat stretch. You're gonna keep your hips high, just walk your hands down. This one we're gonna hold for 30 seconds as well. So set your timer. Try to bring your forehead to the floor, getting a real good stretch in the upper back, also along the sides of the lats. Nice slow deep breaths. <clears throat> and now we're gonna take it to a chest stretch. So we're gonna put one arm out like this. And rotate, pushing through this palm, getting a nice good stretch all through there. You can play with the position on where you want your hand to be. Move it around so you feel more of a stretch in the chest than in the shoulder. And switch. Pushing down with the right palm into the ground, rotating the body, trying to keep your left elbow down to the ground, stretching out that chest. Nice, slow, deep breathing. Time. Now we're going to go with some thoracic spine mobility. So we're going to go to all fours again. You're going to put your left hand behind your head on the back of your neck. Rotate down, touch your elbow to the inside of the right elbow. Open up, push high with the right palm. Slowly back down. Exhale up. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Five each side. And switch. Try to point your elbow all the way to the ceiling if you can. All right, last one we have for the low back and upper body is the up dog press up. So you're gonna go down to a push up position, but your hands are gonna be in close right by your mid chest. Exhale, press up, keeping your hips pushed down to the floor. Slowly down, inhale. Exhale, press up. One more. Okay, now we're going to roll over onto our back. Hug the knees in, slowly rock side to side while hugging the knees in. We'll be massaging out the low back a little bit while also stretching it by hugging those knees in tight to the chest. I'm gonna put one foot down, grab our timer again. 
glute stretch. Gonna grab the knee, grab the ankle, hug it in tight, slowly move it from side to side. Nice deep breaths. Move it around a little bit. Steady breaths and switch. Other side, hug that knee in tight. Move it around a little bit so you feel the sweet spot where you need the most stretching. And then hug that in tight. Nice deep breaths. Next, we're gonna bridge and reach. So you're gonna scoot your heels in towards your butt, drive through your heels, lift up, roll over the opposite shoulder, reach, inhale, come back down. Exhale, bridge and reach. Five each side. Three. Three. Four, four, five, and five. Now, first we're gonna have our knees and our feet touching. Slowly, side to side, rock the knees, getting a good stretch in the low back. Let them fall as far as they can naturally, don't force it. Exhale as you let them drop. Inhale back to the start. One more each side. Good. All right, next. We are sitting up. Put your hands behind you to kind of prop yourself up. Feet are a little bit wider than your hips. Slowly let the knees go side to side, stretching out the hips. If you can't touch your knee all the way to the floor, don't worry about it, just go as far as you can. Going five times each side. One more. Good. All right, next. We're gonna squat down, feet wide, grab your toes, chest up, elbows pushing out the knees, straighten out the legs, keeping the chest in close, piking up, stretching the hamstrings, dropping the butt, keeping the chest up. Straight and exhale, inhale, drop. Exhale, straighten. On five times, we have one more. And up next, we're going into a lizard lunge with a twist. Push up position, put the left foot by the left hand, sink that hip down low. Exhale and rotate. Put the hand back, bring the leg back, switch sides, drop the hip down. Rotate over. Every time, try to sink a little bit lower and lower to the ground. Get a little bit deeper into that twist, a little bit deeper into that stretch. Two more each side. One more each side. Last one. Next, we're gonna take a half kneeling position. Lean forward, getting a good stretch in the hip flexor. Count to five, six, 
sit back, stretch the hamstring. One. Three, four, five, two. Got five on each side. Five. Two. Three, two more. One more. Sit it back. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five. A little good stretch up in here. Sit it back. One, two. One. See it back. One. Good stretch in the hamstring, reaching for the toe. Four. Sit it back. Last one. Sit the heel. One, two, three, four, five. All right, grabbing our timer again. Going into a frog stretch. So knees are wide, down on the elbows. Shins parallel with each other. You don't want to have your feet touching in. Slowly shift the hips forward and back. Feel where you got a nice good stretch and just kind of hang out there for a little bit. Nice, slow, deep breaths. And time. Next, we're standing up. Lateral lunges. Spread the feet wide. Shift down low. Getting a stretch in this opposite leg. If you need balance, you can hold on to the edge of a chair. Shifting side to side five times. So there you have it. That's your mobility warm up for the morning. Try to do this at least four days a week. Every day would be best. Um, it's going to help you feel younger, feel good, move better be less injury prone, and just have a better overall quality of life. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Have a great day.